just how you planned it Life could put you in a pickle, just make sure it's kosher Lean on me like real witness until you smell the roses What's happening fam? LAR movement still moving? Subscribe or die trying, you see the thumbnail Why we choose sports and entertainment? So, you know, they have the thing where, you know Black guys always want to be athletes and rappers Okay, I get it I understand it, it doesn't come off well But Nobody says how we got here Nobody says how we got to this point See why don't we focus on STEM? Well, let's get into why. Because your family didn't tell you to focus on it. That's why. And some of y'all, your families told you to focus on it, and you were like, hmm, I'd rather be something else. And when that didn't work out, you know, your STEM school days was over with. But <clears throat> you want to be athletes and entertainers? Yeah. Let's run this back. Um, people's family wasn't telling them, you know what? You should go out there and be Fred Hampton. You should go out there and be Martin Luther King. You should go out there and be Malcolm X. See, that didn't happen. Why don't you, you should go out there and do business. That kind of, that was a thing. You know, Jim Crow, lynchings. You know, uh, what is it, running highways through the black business community. That, that was a thing. Be a businessman. Own, own this and own that. Yeah. The white man's ice became colder, too. You remember that? So people are like, ah, man, you should be a businessman, an entrepreneur. Mm, I don't think these people are going to, they're not supportive. You know, they're not supporting black business like they used to. So what you're seeing is a transformation now because the mindsets are changing. But let's not skip over how we got to this point in the first place. Because some of y'all want to get mad at brothers want to be athletes and entertainers but some of y'all the same people that had no problem with people being drug dealers because it made money see what I'm saying so it's like you know oh they just athletes and entertainers yeah but you like drug dealers they're businessmen now it goes you know you hear a lot of women cool with it then you hear some guys who've been in the streets cool with it yeah I'm out there hustling mm, mm. Because that's usually the alternative. It, it really went from being an athlete and entertainer to be an athlete, entertainer, and drug dealer. And no, and people take that out of the equation because it's not a good thing to say or something. Let's take it a step further. We're going to skip over the fact that a lot of us athletes and entertainment was a, was a real thing because our teachers were deterring us from being you know, scientists and doctors and mathematicians and lawyers, you know, our teachers who weren't black, oh, uh, failing up folks and giving folks bad grades so they get, so they couldn't get into certain places. Y'all just going to skip over that? Because, hey, it's 2023. I get it. I graduated high school in what, 97? Graduated college in 2001? I remember these things. When I was a child in the, you know, in the 80s, the, the kids older than me, because I, I got an older cousin that's 10 years older than me, they wanted to be astronauts because of, because of the space exploration. It was, I want to be a football player, an astronaut, a police officer, something like that, right? Do you hear anybody say they want to be an astronaut anymore? No. NASA is, is alive and kicking. So, this is an issue. You know, why did people want to be athletes and entertainers? One of the other reasons was, didn't have to go to war. Y'all forgot about that, right? Athletes and entertainers didn't necessarily have to go to war. Like our, our grandfathers and fathers and uncles who went to, like my granddad was in the Korean War. Uh, my uncles was in Vietnam. And it's like, yo, they wanted to be athletes and entertainers because, you know, if I go to war, I ain't, even if I get drafted to go, I ain't going to do much. Y'all forget about the David Robinson, like, hey, man, they gonna let him play? Yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not tripping because that's the history of it. The other thing is, especially sports, it's a meritocracy. You know, we, we've done all of the other things, whether it be farming, because be a farmer. Yeah, but they were stealing people land and farms at that time, so it wasn't good to be a farmer. You know, you, they just started getting reparations for that not too many years ago. 
You see what I'm saying? So that was a whole nother thing. But it was a meritocracy in sports where it became a meritocracy. Well, hey, man, this is the only thing where I'm going to get a fair shake. Or this is the fairest shake I might get. You know? Music, that was just a... Music, especially, is just an offset of the church. That's all that was. You know, the modern music, that, that everything that we like and love and is entertaining, everything really came out of the church one way or another. The instrument playing, the singing... You know, the, the, the soul, quote unquote, all came out of the church. So we skip over that. So it was just church for people who wasn't in church. Is what it is. Matter of fact, if y'all think I'm lying, go back and look at that Ray movie. I got a woman way over town that's good to me. Now, you know, he, he remixed like a church song. And people are like, oh my God, that's the devil's music. But that's part of the, why we choose sports and entertainment. You know, these guys are just dumb. Not necessarily because the other thing that, that used to happen was what? When you were smart, you couldn't get jobs in, in smart occupations a lot of times. People forgot that. There were guys who, who, were, who, who were brilliant minds who was working as, as custodians. Like, you, do you remember the movie... Uh, it's not our eyes are watching God, but but the hands. When most deaf was playing the the doctor, you know that that was actually the doctor from Johns Hopkins who couldn't become a doctor because of Jim Crow. He was working as a carpenter or something like that, you know, and we just became a medical assistant basically. We forget about that kind of stuff. So yeah, like sports was sports and entertainment was some of the only avenues that you can actually get freedom in. And in the money aspect, you know, other people go, oh, yo, oh, why don't you have more people in this, that, and the third? Other people have other options. Other graces of people have have far more options. Y'all didn't tell your kids to be Bob Johnson. Start a network, own a network. You didn't, you didn't tell. You don't tell your kids to be um, Robert Smith. You didn't say that. Y'all, y'all didn't tell your kids, man. You could be Lonnie Johnson. They don't even know who these people are. Some nowadays we know, but a lot of people don't. You know what I'm saying? So what winds up happening is getting the more into business and this, that, and the third. Part of that issue was the glass ceiling. See, there was no glass ceiling. There was there was a glass ceiling in sports, but talent kind of made it to the point where you couldn't put a glass ceiling on on the, the vast majority of athletes because you would lose out on money. You didn't want to, and you didn't want to lose your money because you wanted to be a jerk. So that was a whole other thing. Nowadays, you know, you feel like the young men are incompetent because they, they all focus on sports and entertainment. I get it. I get it. And now, what? It's podcasting and, and social media, right? And when I say entertainment, when we bring up stuff like acting, people was always looked at as soft for acting. You in acting school? What the hell? You wasn't, nobody respected a person that was an actor until they saw him on TV. When he was in high school in theater, they're like, mm, you in theater? What the hell? You in a play? Oh, uh, you in a play? What kind of, who goes to a play? Now it's like, oh, my baby was in a movie. But it's, you know, it's pretty much an honest living. You know, nobody told people, hey, go, like, I hate to say it this way, but there's a lot of people who wanted to be athletes and entertainers too, and it didn't work. And they wind up having regular nine to fives or in some good, good and great jobs. And they were just mad that they never made it in that. But they make a good living. There's nothing wrong with that. So all the people that, that, that you see who are blue collar and white collar, they had dreams of, Sports and entertainment, too. I know it's a minority thing. You know, I think that's the biggest issue, but, you know, it's a minority population who's going to make it. It's boom or bust. But don't act like all these other obstacles weren't in the way that, that kind of pushed people towards it. You know, because it's like, oh, maybe I get a little freedom like that. And a lot of times sports and entertainment was honestly used to keep people out of trouble. 
because that kept you, you know, roaming the neighborhood and that kept you from getting effed with from the police and the neighbors. That's what that was. So yeah, you, you kind of, you liked it more because you were in less trouble because, you know, you didn't get busted for, for just walking home or walking from the corridor. You know, you didn't, you didn't get in the same kind of trouble as people did who left school and went home. And I'm saying this from a person who plays sports when I was younger and, you know, in my neighborhood, I almost got arrested for, for walking out the house. I'm not saying, I'm not playing. That's not figurative. That's a literal true story. Like I opened the door. Close the door, lock it, turn around the police. What are you doing? The neighbors were like, what? He just walked out the house. What is your problem? Where are you coming? Where are you going? Where are you coming from? I'm like, what the fuck is going on out here? You know, I had friends who was in the streets and who wasn't in the streets. They was in school, they got out, it's like, uh oh. And I was in one of those neighborhoods where we had, you know, good um athletic programs were good, but even even smart. You know, smart acad academic programs. And what was the problem with that? The problem was, you know, once you were smart and black, people did double time to try to make sure you're not smart. So people, you know, sports and entertainment was a way to get, get, get kind of away from that because your talent showed and that could shut people up. Which, with intellect, it was always an undermining issue and people didn't want to deal with it. The people who could actually play sports and entertain let's just say that but is it is it's a lotto ticket yes it is you know it's one for the minority of people and on top of that sports and entertainment was a thing because people's families was hoping you made it in sports and entertainment so you can take care of the family so you know nobody nobody said hey man you know you should be a truck driver take care of the family you're gonna be a if you be a doctor you're going to take care of the family. That's not what they were saying. Like the people who, were, who, 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 who became great part of society, you know, the truck drivers, the doctors, the lawyers, a lot of them, if you listen to their stories, um, their family didn't necessarily appreciate them until after they made it, after they finished. They, they didn't get as much support on the journey to be, you know, that, that professional person until they actually made it. The people who were unprofessional, who had the big dreams, is who the family supported. So this is how this happened. Like some young people was trying to appease the family and went down the sports and entertainment route too, because it was like they love me more. Bad idea, but it happens. I'm just adding some clarity to some of this. But tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace.